In this video, we are going to talk about three wonderful packages which are published by the same guys who published Scrapey. And out of these three, third is probably the most important one. So what you can see right now on my screen is a couple of formats of prices which I've collected from many websites, right? Now basically, if I want to convert these prices to absolute number, so typically I will have option of using regex or regular expression. So let's try to create a regular expression. The typical regular expression is going to be backslash D. So which is going to match any number, right? It matches any number. Now we have a decimal and a comma. So let's put decimal, let's put comma. So as we can see that it is already having problems. So let's put this in a group. Let's put a star. Okay, things are looking better, but we have spaces somewhere. So let's put spaces. But now the leading spaces are also being matched. So let's put this rule that it should begin with a number. It should end with a number. Okay, now things are a little bit better. So I think things are fine. But as you can see that this regular expression is already a little bit complicated. And depending on few other cases, it may again change. And of course, this is not at all working. This is where the first package comes into picture, price parser. So you just install using pip install price parser straightforward. And then let's use this class. All right. So from price parser import price. Okay, so this is a special class. And this exposes certain methods, most importantly, from string. All right. So what this from string does is you give any number in any format and it will give you a price class which contains amount and currency. All right. So the benefit is that you can just query for amount decimal. You can get the amount as a float number or you can also get the amount as a simple string. Right. So this is a wonderful method. So let's try this on all these possible format so let me write a quick loop and now you can see that in most of the cases it has figured out the correct number and the amount and what is important here is that in Europe a comma is used as a decimal separator right so it's not 5990 it is actually 5990 and if you look at this value it has interpreted correctly right so based on the currency, it will do some intelligent guessing about what should be the amount. Now, in some cases, for example, uh, this is another representation of the rams and this is where it has failed. This one, it has failed again because this was a text. So again, this part we will see later, but for handling something like this, it's we have one more argument and we can pass one additional argument. And this one is currency hint. And I don't think that currency hint anything will work. No, see, it is not a valid currency. It's not working. Even if you write INR, it's not going to work because this is not related to INR. It's just a hint, right? So now I'm saying that the hint is actually AED. So now it is agreeing that, okay, right, it looks like AED. So that's how it works. Similarly, if it makes a mistake in judging the decimal character, you can update that as well. So there is another additional parameter. So you can provide a decimal separator and you can specify the decimal separator is this or this and it will work fine. Now let's talk about package number two, number parser. So again, you just install it using pip install number parser. And what it can do is it can take text, any text and it can give you the number. So let me show it to you in this section where we had a practical problem. So this one, right? So 599 rupees, so this, it was not able to convert. So this is where we can use import number parser as n. Okay, now this n dot parse. So this is the useful function and I'm going to send this on. So see, now it has captured 599 rupees out of this. So it can convert any text which contains a valid number into an actual number, right? And in this case, if we surround this with price, parser function now we can get exactly the correct currency right correct value and of course we can provide a currency hint as well let's talk about the third package and this package is date parser just note one thing that 
when you were working with price parser there was a hyphen in case of number parser again there was a hyphen but in date parser there is no hyphen now before i talk about this package let me show you a practical problem let's say that you have a date let me call it raw date now you want to convert it into a date time object so how will you do it without any third party package so you'll have to import date time and then you'll have to remember what is the code for full month what is the code for day now i know that this one is percent b and the first parameter is going to be the raw date and if i execute this now this is in correct format but this is so sensitive that you will have to remember exact codes otherwise this is not going to work it will throw an error so that's where date parser is important so let's import date parser import and out of this we have a parse method and if we send this raw date as it is we don't have to worry about anything else just give this raw date and it will give you date day time format this is such a time saver it means that i don't have to go through or the manual look for the code which code is actually matching my format but of course in certain cases if it is not able to predict you can give hints right so there are certain optional parameter so you can actually provide date formats and you can actually give this if it is not interpreting correctly but trust me in most of the cases it is going to work just fine and as a surprise it actually works like this today tomorrow so it will work fine these were three of my favorite packages which one is your favorite package do let me know until next time see you